Is it safe to eat at Chipotle again? The Wall Street Journal reports that after 50 customers became ill with the E. coli virus, the CDC declared on Monday the virus outbreak to be over. But while the CDC appears satisfied that the E. coli threat is gone, the Journal reports investigators have not been able to pinpoint the source of the contamination, which first surfaced in the Pacific Northwest in October and spread to 14 states. But Chipotle's troubles aren't limited to E. coli. The Denver-based company has also been plagued by a norovirus outbreak at two restaurants in Simi Valley, California, and in Boston that sickened more than 200 people. Federal authorities are conducting a criminal investigation into the norovirus outbreak in Simi Valley. Dozens were also sickened by salmonella cases in Minnesota last summer. No one has died from the various outbreaks. That's the good news. The hard part for CEO Steve Ells may be restoring confidence among customers and investors who've sent the company's stock down by roughly 25 percent since the E. coli virus was first reported. The S&P 500 is down about 7 percent during the same period. In addition to announcing a scaling back of the use of local ingredients and centralizing the preparation of some vegetables, the chain launched an aggressive Twitter campaign to promote its brand and will close all of its 1,900 restaurants in the U.S. on February 8th for several hours to train employees in an attempt to prevent any future food poisoning outbreaks.